What's up guys? Back here again with Jimmy Changa. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review video over that and the actual CB radio that goes with it. Uh, we're going to start from item to item and I'll tell you what it is and its functionality and how it is. Um, so first off we're going to start with the Cobra 75 WXST 40 channel CB radio. Alright, that's what this is. Um, it is all built into one. It actually works quite well, uh, considering I live really far away from the highway. No one uses CB radios around here, so I can't really test it to show y'all. Um, I'll try to see if I can upload some footage, like when I'm actually off-roading using it, to show the quality of it. It actually works really, really well. Um, I'd highly recommend this for a CB for the Renegade, just because it's minimally evasive. Um, the guy that I paid to install it. It's only $30 to install. He actually installed it back behind here, the cigarette lighter, uh, because this is, as soon as you turn on, this is a direct power. Uh, it will not work with the car off. Unfortunately, I have to have the car on. And if I turn that on, the Bluetooth would kick in and I'd have all kinds of microphone issues. I ran the cable back up and around here, back around through here to this. And I used a Cobra AC 72 four foot microphone extension cable. And that provides power from this to the little box that comes with it that you have to install. I installed that underneath the seat. That box is what is connected to that. Uh, next up on the list is a fully custom made bracket I built. Uh, this is the actual mount that came with the um, CB radio. And I riveted onto here, this is uh, really just thin aluminum that I bent in place and cut specifically to fit behind this bracket. Uh, it's super easy to, well, I say super easy to pop out. I don't want to break it without my tools, but it's, it's actually quite sturdy. Holds pretty well, hooks on there easily and holds really nice. It's out of the way. You're driving along. It's, it's not in your way. It's not in your passenger's way. Uh, going back the cable runs all the way back along back here. Runs back here. You can see I ran underneath the floor mats, underneath the seat, back behind the seat, straight back to here, right in the back, up, back and around, through. I actually did something kind of nifty here, I think. I actually unbolted this from right here and right here lifted this entire thing up ran the cable up underneath this to where it's flush oh if you can see that and i ran it all the way over to here to where what this is um this round disc is the uh, fire stick k11 magnet mount with 18 foot coax cable and on that little spring thing right there is the fire stick ss 3h heavy duty stainless steel antenna spring with a fire stick uh, FL3B 3 foot fire, firefly uh, antenna with a tunable tip. Uh, it's in black. I decided to stick with black. Um, this overall is actually quite durable. Um, I've knocked it off with that tree multiple times already. Uh, the magnet mount holds, it actually holds pretty well for going down the highway and stuff. Doesn't do no damage, um, but when you hit something, of course, it's going to bring it down. Let's just have it cabled in really well. Um, it actually doesn't wobble that much going down the highway either. Um, parking garages is an issue um, with the Renegade. I just put the inch and a half lift on mine, so I don't know how much worse it is. But it's about nine feet tall, um, at least. So keep that in mind when you're ordering that. I actually would consider mounting it back here, getting a bracket and putting it right back here. Um, but that's personal preference. I personally kind of like it up there. I think it looks nice. It gives it character. Uh, that's basically my review over that Cobra radio. Um, if you have any questions on it, uh, any questions on the bracket and stuff, just leave a comment. I'll see if I can post pictures and stuff with it. And again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll have more like this in the future.